Hi, I'm Elliot from Ordinate and I'm going to be talking to you about the new latency monitoring feature in Data Controller version 3.5. With the introduction in version 3.5 of some powerful new features, Data Controller is increasingly more than just a tool you use once for setting up your network. It's also something you can use at any time to monitor and tweak your network's performance. The first of these new features is latency monitoring. Latency monitoring gives you real-time data about how long audio packets are taking to travel between devices so you can see whether the device's latency setting is good where it is or needs to be changed. If audio packets arrive later than the latency setting on a device, they'll be dropped, basically thrown away, and you'll get glitches in your audio. So you typically want latency set low to support low latency applications like real-time monitoring but not so low that your audio packets don't have time to travel from the transmitter to the receiver before they're supposed to be played out. Latency monitoring is on all the time. Currently Brooklyn 2, PCIe and MI16 devices are supported. You can check your device type in the status tab of the device view for your device. Latency monitoring will be rolled out to other Dante devices over time. Dante Virtual Soundcard and Ultimo firmware will include latency monitoring in their next releases. As long as Dante Controller is running, it will collect latency data continuously so you can observe the impact of any network reconfiguration or device reconfiguration you want to do. Latency monitoring data is displayed as a histogram, which is a bar graph of measurements collected over time. The latency histograms are displayed in the new latency tab in the device view for each supported device. You get a histogram for each transmitter that the device is subscribed to, showing the latency stats for that subscription. So let's look at some latency histograms. The histograms show audio packet latency measurements, as in how long it's taking for the audio packets to get from the transmitter to the receiver along the X axis and the number of measurements at each data point up the Y axis on a logarithmic scale. Measurements are taken roughly once a second and the highest latency recorded from each measurement is displayed. So it's recording the latencies for the audio packets that take the longest to get to the receiver. As you can see, these histograms are all green, which indicates that all audio packets are arriving well within the latency setting on the device. A quick side note, if a device is subscribed to any multicast flows, you may get two histograms for some transmitters. That's because multicast flows always use one millisecond latency, but the latency setting on the device might be set to something else. But there's more information about that in the user guide. This histogram, however, has some amber and red bars, which means that some packets are very late to the party. There are a number of reasons why this could be happening. For example, network topology, slow switches, or an overloaded network link. In this case, however, it's because we've sandwiched a 100 megabit switch in between two gigabit switches, which, by the way, is something you should never do. And we've got the latency set to 250 microseconds, which is too low for that sort of nasty switch arrangement. So rather than fix the network, which is what we should do, we'll just raise the latency setting on the device and have another look at the latency stats. As you can see, the latency setting is now at one millisecond. As the data comes in, you'll see that our bars are now green, indicating that all audio packets are arriving well within the new latency setting on the device. And we're now sure that we won't be getting any audio glitches. You can save the histogram as a PNG in case you need to compare old results or email them to someone. Latency data will be collected as long as Dante Controller is running, so you can leave Dante Controller running for a few days to collect long-term latency performance metrics for your network. You can use latency monitoring to make sure that you have low latency across the network, but not so low that you'll get audio glitches.